Hi everyone! The Christmas spirit has arrived at the cottage. We have a fire going and while well, the Christmas tree is out, as you can see, I haven't decorated yet. Actually, I need to replace some lights. That middle section isn't lit anymore. I wanted to share with you some Christmas gift ideas. So bits and bobs for the garden, from plants to garden decor to garden tools that I found useful that you might want to gift your loved ones who love gardening or treat yourself. I should probably say that this video isn't sponsored in any way, I'm just sharing things that I love throughout the year, some things that are on my wish list, some things that I've had for a while, some things that are new to me, so no, no sponsoring. But I'll leave links still so that if you're interested you can check out the item. Let's get started! I want to start with the tech category, so garden tools. My number one item that is pretty new to me is a garden cart. And you might think this is not very exciting, but in the new garden, now that I have a connected front and rear garden, it's going to be really helpful just to move things around, to move plants, pots, containers, everything, just pick up garden debris. I opted for a very versatile, <laughs> I was gonna call it convertible, for a very versatile option with a plastic base so that I could transport everything I needed, but also a mesh cart with metal so that if I needed to hose down things or just I don't want rain to accumulate there, I can also have that option. And I can also remove the sides and use it as a flatbed. This is a fairly recent purchase because before we had a small garden and there was no room for a garden cart, but it has been a life changer during the move. We've been able to move so many containers. The wheels were really strong and for now it has sustained moving a hundred pots or so. So I'm pretty happy with it. Another garden gadget that I picked up this year is a weeder from Fisker, and that has been a game changer. It has a really long handle and it means you don't have to bend over. You can be standing and very comfortable when you're reading. And it has three metal jaws that basically just wrap around the weed and you can just pull it out and action it with your feet. And just like eject it in your garden cart and that has been a game changer. So for difficult to reach areas and also if you just don't want to be on your knees weeding, that, that was also something really good to have on hand. That next item is very classic and is probably on every gardener's list, but it is a must have, a good pair of pruners. Having several good pairs on hand is is always going to be received with joy. Again, Fisker, not sponsored, but I find that they have really good tools at a really good price point, so I have a very standard pair of pruners from them and that's a great one. Then something that has been really helpful in our small garden and when you have like areas of lawn that are very small or if you want to maintain grass for example or on trees or on edges, our streamer has been a godsend. It's actually the first thing that we bought before even buying a lawnmower because it's just really great for small areas. We have one from Ryobi uh, on batteries so that's really great and really practical and we can reach everywhere in the garden with it. And that has really been a purchase that we have not regretted. Our Ryobi streamers have lasted us for years now. The only thing that you need to replenish is, of course, the spool, but impeccable. Another thing that I would put on your list is a cold frame. Well, the one that I have in mind is pretty small. It's the one that I've been featuring in my videos. It's been really convenient for small plants, for seedlings, just to have something close to the house. For example, if you wanted to grow some herbs. So whether you have a small space or a big space, that could still be something that's really useful. You can paint it a specific color to customize it. Of course, cold frames come in a range of sizes. So again, down to budget and to space, but I couldn't be without mine. Now for some pretty things. I feel like when you love your garden, you never have enough garden decor and beautiful things to put there. So next on my list would be pretty containers. You can never go wrong by selecting something that's a little bit special or unique. If it's a specific material, if it's a specific shape, like an urn. I, for example, myself love old age metal urns, so I know I would love to receive that as a gift. But there's a you know, range of planters and pots and containers out there. If the person you're gifting for likes antiques, you may want to pick up a French Victorian antique planter. Or if they're more into modern containers, you can also pick up something that's really brand new, really showy. 
something that takes up a little bit less space but that's still very lovely to have are beautiful garden stakes you need stakes to keep your plants upright you know if you have a lot of rain or if just they are top heavy there's a range of plants that needs to be staked and why not make something utilitarian really pretty i have a couple of options that i've loved using throughout the years i love the stakes by paul cox they are absolutely beautiful i don't know if they ship outside of the uk but i have two an artichoke one and a flower bud and they come in a range of colors and in a range of shapes and i think they're just the loveliest gift and definitely one that i would recommend putting under the tree also some pretty plant labels either for the allotment or one that you can you know, customize so in copper or where you can write with chalk on them i feel like we never have enough pretty labels to remember our beautiful plants and those would make for lovely stocking fillers of course we couldn't talk about garden decor gifts without talking about some form of garden art so sculptures, beautiful bird feeders, anything sculptural for outdoors, a beautiful mirror, um, a beautiful table centerpiece, anything, anything to decorate the garden. I fell in love with these beautiful bird sculptures from Metal Bird. Friends of ours gifted us a beautiful pair of swallows and we absolutely love it. It's super easy, all you need is a hammer and you can set it in any wood, some trees, some fence. It's just really beautiful to walk around and see that in your garden it just creates a little bit of whimsy and i just i just love that oh in terms of garden decor i guess it's not really garden decor but it's more home decor i would say a pretty vase anything beautiful to display flowers would be an amazing gift actually i can show you a couple of examples for example this one i picked up at a beautiful antique fair so it's just like a very simple terracotta one i also have some more polished ceramic vases that are really beautiful so there's really a, a vase out there a container to arrange flowers or just to display some beautiful branches for everyone and now let's talk garden attire what do you wear every day when you garden one of my best recommendation would be get yourself a pair of hunter boots i've used the small chelsea ankle boot for a little while and now just recently switched to a short boot kind of like mid calf length it's just really comfortable i absolutely love this teaching detail and the thicker sole i use them every single day in the garden they're easy to get in and out of keep my feet dry also with under what's really cool is that you can add an insole with a bit of fur if you want your feet to be like extra cozy and extra warm definitely a great option to keep your feet nice and warm and toasty in the winter for the summer i really love garden clogs i love this pair from egg with a beautiful q garden print i've had it for years they are so easy to slip in and out just to run a quick errand like five minute dead editing or just putting the bin out whatever the case may be they're just so easy to get in and out of and you probably have seen me a fair bit with my socks in them not the sexiest look but still very useful in the garden Another one of those garden essentials to me are gloves and I go through so many pairs but I recently picked up a beautiful leather pair that really protects me well when I deal with roses or just when I have to pick up heavy debris or deal with a lot of like heavy wet dirt. They keep my hands fairly dry. They're beautiful gloves by Kent and Stowe. Just having this slightly thicker pair of leather gloves has been really great. So another stocking filler for you if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that my garden uniform includes an apron. They are great to protect you, of course, when you do all sorts of, you know, messy things in the garden. My newest finds that I bought in the Netherlands are two beautiful aprons from Camille and Dill. They're cooking aprons, but they have a very thick material and they're just really pretty. So. Again, if the person you want to gift for loves gardening and then cooking with whatever they grow in the garden, that's literally something that can be from garden to table. I feel like a Christmas gift guide for gardeners isn't complete without mentioning plants. So I have a couple of ideas for you. The first one is to get a bare root David Austin rose. From November all the way to March is a really great time to add bare root roses to your gardens. I've done that several years in a row now. I have three shrub roses and two climbing roses. I have had great luck with David Austin roses. They come in a range of beautiful colors. There's literally a rose for everyone. 
from beautiful white tones all the way to really showy blooms, single blooms, climbers. No garden is complete without roses. So that is a lovely gift to make. Bear in mind though that when they order bare root, they need to be planted really quickly. So something to bear in mind if you give that at Christmas. Okay, it cannot be Christmas and a plant list without mentioning amaryllis. I think I've mentioned that in two videos now, but they make for the perfect gift, especially when they come pre-planted or with a little planting kit where you have everything you need, the bulb, the soil, the planter. Amaryllis are really beautiful flowers. They're showy and they flower, you know, in that time of year where little else is in bloom, so it's really lovely to have bloom indoors. Again, they come in a range of colors, typically more in the whites, pinks, and reds, which is perfect for Christmas. If you don't just want to buy a ready-made kit from the grocery store, you can make it a little bit more personal by planting it in a beautiful container of your choice and then top dressing it with little decorative elements or like festive touches and that really makes for a beautiful personal gift. In December, of course, you still have time to plant spring bulbs and typically you can still find them in store right now. Things like tulips or daffodils or anything that will bloom in the spring. And if you want to make it 100% asshole free, why not plant them up in a container that's really easy to do. Last year I planted up some spring containers for my mom, for example, so of course it's not something that you see straight away, but come spring that's, that's going to be a really lovely touch. Another plant gift idea that's pretty low maintenance would be a succulent planter or just a succulent plant. You know, they're perfectly suited for indoors. They typically require very little care, so very little watering. So you can't, you can't kill a succulent plant, basically. If you wanted to make it a little bit more special, you could buy a bunch and arrange them beautifully together. I've actually done a video recently on that. You can pick a beautiful showy container and then arrange them in a beautiful bouquet. And that makes for a really lovely gift too. One last item that didn't really fit in any categories, but is really lovely if the person you want to make a gift for loves crafts. It is a battery powered glue gun. I love the one that I got from Ryubi. I've used it to make so many wreaths and so many decor projects. I actually used it very recently to make an autumn wreath. It's just, it's just really great because you can set it there. I have to say that it's a little bit heavier than the one I had before. Also the glue sticks that it takes are pretty massive. If you have someone in your life that loves crafts project and has been complaining about their wired glue gun or doesn't have a glue gun yet, well you should totally get them one. It's life-changing. Okay, well, there's probably a hundred more things that would make absolute lovely gifts, but these are just some of the items over the years that I've discovered and really loved. So let me know in the comments what other garden-related item you'd love to gift for Christmas or you'd love to get for Christmas. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and that it gave you plenty of ideas to treat your loved ones or yourself for Christmas. I'll see you next week. I have some garden updates to share with you. As you know, we've moved. This is a new house with a fireplace and it's time to get started in the garden. So we'll do a bit of that next week. See you there. Bye.